Flash floods and landslides triggered by early monsoon rains have killed at least 560 people in northern India and left tens of thousands missing. Officials have said the death toll is expected to rise significantly. Houses and small apartment blocks on the banks of the Ganges have toppled into swollen waters and been swept away with cars and trucks. Thousands of military servicemen are involved in rescue operations with Air Force helicopters plucking survivors from the foothills of the Himalayas. Around 33,000 people have been rescued so far this week, according to the Home Ministry. Railways are running special trains from the devastated areas to take people home. The heaviest floods in decades have shut down the Canadian oil capital of Calgary, forcing the evacuations of tens of thousands of residents and shutting Alberta City's downtown core. The bodies of two men were found near High River in Alberta, a town of 13,000 located near Calgary. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police said two other people were missing, including a woman who was swept away with her camper van. Some 1,300 troops were deployed to help with rescues and evacuations that forced 100,000 people from their homes in Calgary and thousands more, more in small towns in the surrounding city. And that's it for our news. Let's uh, take a look at tomorrow's weather forecast. When fine skies are on the agenda, winds will be light to variable, force 3 in the morning, turning light to moderate southwesterly to northwesterly in the afternoon, light to moderate force 3 to 4 later. The sea will be slightly rough. Temperatures will reach 37 degrees Celsius inland, 34 degrees in coastal areas, and just 30 degrees over the mountains. And that's the news from us here at CYBC. Until tomorrow, good night.